Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy. In Psalms 75, we, we read in verses 6 and 7, No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt a man. But it is God who judges. He brings one down. He exalts another. And I was uh, praying this uh, psalm earlier this morning and I was thinking about you know the world situation the situation in Egypt you know uh, God brings down one he exalts another and, and we were you know we we get in the place and we worry you know what's going to come in the place in Egypt you know is it going to be a, a fundamentalist Islamic state and I don't know if anyone knows some people think they know I don't know and I don't think anybody knows uh, but I do know this one thing, that God is sovereign, that God has it all under control, that according to the word of God, he brings down uh, one, that he brings one down, he exalts another. Whether it's here in the United States, uh, whether it's in Egypt, it is God who is sovereign, who puts people in office, who ultimately will even uh, uh, get them out of office. Uh, of course, here in the United States, we have a, a election process. But God is the one throughout history who, according to Scripture, He brings down one, He exalts another. Uh, it, it's it's a, a reminder that God ultimately uh, has all things under his control. And we often, in our anxieties, uh, we just worry about everything. Uh, and we think everything's out of control. You know, we worry about, you know, the stock market. We worry about uh, our economy here in the United States. Uh, we worry about our government. Uh, but ultimately, folks, the Almighty has it all under control. Now, that does not mean that all things are always going to work out, uh, you know, for good, for everybody. Uh, remember in the case of Joseph. Joseph, he was sold into slavery by his brothers, but ultimately, it was God who was behind all this, that God was sovereign in this. They intended it for evil, but God intended it for good. And, of course, if you read uh, what happened, you know, Egypt would go through some famine. There would be famine in the land, but God had Joseph there to help prepare the people for the famine. And so times may get tougher in the United States. They may get tougher in the world. We don't know. But ultimately, we who have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, who love Him, all things do work together for good to them that love the Lord. And He didn't say He would take us out of tough situations, but that He would be there with us in those situations. And that's the great comfort that we have as Believers that the Lord is with us. So when we look at our world, when we, when we worry about terrorism, when we worry about uh, you know our government, who's in office, uh, who's going to be the next president or the next governor of your state or or whatever, or who's going to be over Egypt, what's going to happen there, folks? Let's look to the the sovereign the all-sovereign of the universe and have faith in Him and trust in Him in our prayers. Let's do go to the Lord in prayer. Most merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, You are the sovereign God who holds all nations in Your hands and all events, Lord, uh, Lord, that happen on this earth, we know they cannot happen 
without your sovereign control over them. And that ultimately, Lord, that though times may seem like it, it may seem at times, Lord, to us that the world is spinning out of control and we worry about what's going to happen and times may get tough and t times may get rough. We know that from history, God, that wars come, terrorism happens, but ultimately, Lord God, good will prevail. Evil will be crushed because you are the all-sovereign of the universe. Help us to trust in you, Lord God, even when we don't understand things. Help us, Lord, to always keep faith in you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you all, and don't forget to send in your prayer request for Wednesday prayer tomorrow. God bless you all.